Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today's video, we are going to be trying to find some sweat proof makeup. This makeup is what Zabrina used and she said it was sweat proof, so we are going to give it a shot. I got these new um, shadow shields. They're just like the tape, only they're made specifically for it. So you can spend money just for this. These are the tattoo something color 24 hour color tattoo from Maybelline cream shadows I don't know how you guys feel about that I don't know how I feel about it because with wrinkles but that's what she said was the waterproof kind this color is creamy beige we're just gonna go in with this as you can see what color it is it looks like leather so hopefully it's good yeah, I don't know why I wanted to put... Anyways, we're going to put this all over our lid. It's very creamy, but we're going for sweat proof, not waterproof. She used it. She went in a pool. But I'm, I'm not going in a pool. I actually have an appointment. Get my nails done. And I'm pulling this up into the crease. And above so that you can see it so basically I'm covering pretty much my whole lid I mean my whole you know what I mean just like that whoa and then we're gonna go in with just a little bit of this light color in the center and this color is barely branded and I'm just gonna put this in the middle. Just right there. On both eyes. And you can barely see it. That's okay. And then I'm gonna take this creme brulee, um, Wet and Wild shadow. All right, I got it open. So let's take a fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna go on this edge up here. A little bit. And I might just blend these a little bit kind of set that that's all I'm going to do then I am going to go in this is the eyeliner that she said to use and it is wet and wild H2 but it's wet and wild and I know that it said like waterproof or something. It has a brush. It's a liquid. It's very, very um, tiny. Yep, I'm not loving this uh, liner that she recommended. It may be waterproof, but it goes on horribly. Let's try and fix it with this brush. All right, I hate this eyeliner. I didn't buy a mascara because mascaras are, you know, I always buy waterproof. So I think we're gonna try the Lash Paradise. It's waterproof. The foundation she used, she said to use, is the CoverGirl Outlast. So that's what I got. And I am going to clean my brush real quick because I didn't, I don't think, last time. And I'm gonna go wet a sponge too because I didn't do that either. Okay, my camera turned off and I'm not sure when it turned off. Ow. 
So hopefully you got all that. Anyways, we're going in with a damp sponge just to get rid of any brush marks. I don't know, this that's pretty sheer coverage. Because it may be sweat proof, but if it's sweat proof but shows everything, what good is that? I'm gonna add some more just because I don't like the sheer coverage. I want more coverage. Yeah, I'm not really liking this uh, foundation very much. It just kind of doesn't press into the skin. My pores look horrible. Maybe after I powder it. All right, this is kind of a disaster one, huh? Oh well, now you guys know. And I got the NYX Gotcha Covered Total Waterproof Concealer. And it looked very peach. So I'm not sure if we're gonna like this one either. But it's a drugstore, so you can't really tell. Until you buy it. I put way too much on my hand. It's very thick. Yes, this is very glowy concealer. Okay, let's powder. And I think I got a powder, yes. I got kick-ass soap and glory is what she said to get. And it's kind of yellow starting under the eyes. Maybe that'll take down some of that glow. It's not the best brush, but we're in a hurry. Now we are going to Use this contour or this bronzer, the Rimmel um, Natural Bronzer in Sun Light and Sunlight. It's kind of pretty, kind of orange on me. That's okay. That's just bronzy, right? It's not orange. Do a little contouring with it too. And I didn't get a blush. So I'm just gonna use my um, BH Cosmetics. Cover up that, actually it didn't cover it up, it highlighted that bug bite. So now we'll just take our big fluffy brush and see if we can tone that cheek down. I always forget how pigmented that blush is. But 
it's okay. You might have to add a little more bronze. Blend that up in there. There, and then I'm going to take and blot the sweat. And then I'm going to try and contour a little bit with this um, bronzer that I have. I'm using an elf brush. And I'm just going to go down my nose a little bit. And I also did not buy a new highlighter. So, I think I'm just going to use, I have this Master Chrome awesome Maybelline Master Chrome highlighter. I really like this. It's molten gold. And it's really pretty. I'm gonna go do my eyebrows and my eyelashes and then I'll go to my get my nails done and I'll come back and I'll check in with you guys and we'll see if it was sweat proof. So far it probably is. I don't know. I just really don't like the texture that this uh, foundation, well actually it's better now that I, once I look close up after I powdered it, but I still have lots of pores down here. Maybe. I didn't get enough powder down there. Yeah, I'm just not liking it. It may be sweat proof, but I think we can do better. So, we will go ahead and finish this trial and then we will keep looking for sweat proof. We want sweat proof makeup that looks good too. So this, I mean, from afar it looks fine, but when I get up really close, it's like, I don't like the pores that show. I'll be back. Okay, I am back from getting my nails done and running my errands. Um, I have to say it wasn't too sweaty from just going in and out of the car. It wasn't as hot as I thought. Probably had more sweat when I was here trying to put it on. I did have to pull my hair back because it finally dried and I can't stand it down when it's so hot. So about this makeup, I actually have decided I really like these uh, shields that I got at Walmart that are stuck together. I think they're really good. Um, I, I have decided that I really like this NYX waterproof concealer but a little goes a long way that's the big thing is remember just use a little bit i like the bronzer it's still there looks good didn't sweat off the foundation i'm not sure about it actually looks good but it was a little bit hard to get where I wanted it to be when I first put it on and I could see too many pores down here and wrinkles but that may be because I didn't get enough primer down there so I will give it another try but for now the CoverGirl Outlast I didn't like it as well as I liked the other day when I did the Healthy Elixir the new one I liked it a lot but I did like this kick-ass by Soap and Glory, the translucent powder. I think it says translucent. Totally translucent. It is just, it's not a loose powder, it's compact, but it definitely mattified that um, concealer. Remember how it was kind of shiny? Totally mattified that, so I love that. I'm not sold on these um, cream shadows which I I don't know why I got them because that's what she had in her video that was supposed to be waterproof and let me look here I think they actually stayed really well so I'm gonna have to try them again and 
See, when I first put them on, they seemed wrinkly, but now they seem like they settled in and they're fine. So I'm gonna say I do like them. And I had two colors in them. I have two more colors because I bought two colors at Ulta and they didn't have very many colors there. So I, when I went to Walmart, they had more colors. So I got two more colors. So we'll try more colors than that before I make a decision on it. What else did I use? Um, what's this? Oh, that's more of that. Uh, the eyeliner, I actually hate. So, I would definitely not give it a thumbs down. And it was the Wet n Wild Waterproof in a Liquid. I don't think it's necessarily the formula I hated. I think it's the fact that it was liquid and on my old wrinkly eyes, it just, the liquid is so thin that it spreads out too fast and it goes in like the wrinkles and stuff and it just doesn't give you a nice straight line. I actually went in after I finished my brows and my lashes with my NYX Epic Liner felt marker, which is a liquid too. I don't know why, but it just, if you put it on, it just, it lays better. It still can, you know, bleed into wrinkles a little bit, but it, it wasn't nearly as bad. So I like that one better. And the last time I wore it, oh, it was so hot. Remember when I did the review of the Healthy Elixir? It, it was so hot that day and I sweated so much, I would say that one, that whole thing was more waterproof than this one. Although this one did hold up pretty good too. So, um, but I did, I remember when I did that one that I was really careful when I was sweating huge not to touch my face, just to let it dry and not to try and wipe it off. And by doing that, it lasted all day really well. This one, I didn't, I sweated more when I was putting it on than I did afterwards. I guess I didn't have as many places to go. I don't know. Anyways, that's my review today of our sweat proof makeup. I don't think we're there yet with this look, but we will keep trying. So, um, but a lot of it was sweat proof. Um, the lipstick I'm wearing is a Koki. A Walmart Koki lipstick and I don't know what color it is. I forgot to tell you guys earlier. It is a cream gloss lip veneer, is what it says. Heart's Delight. That one was totty approved. So I got it and it's, it's a little, when you first put it on, it's really pink. But then when you blot it and make it nice and smooth, it's lots better. So that's it. That's everything. Oh, and the creme brulee. I really like the creme brulee um, that I put above just to blend in the, cream shadow that worked really well too so I really liked everything except that awful liner so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe before you leave follow me on snapchat twitter facebook instagram that's all of them and I will see you in my next video